Hello, welcome to Light and Basin, taking his glory to the ends of the world. Today, let's talk about faith. The title of today's message is Faith Always Work. Faith Always Work. And our team scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, the New International Version. And now, these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love the bible says in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 that love never fails the moment the spirit of god said that through paul it meant that faith and hope too would never fail why because faith love and hope are always connected no wonder paul goes some verses further to say and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love yes love faith and hope abided they remain faith never fails if it fails it was never faith even the faith under the old dis dispensation never failed someone would then say brother less why then did the bible talking about the old folks, say, All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 13. How can you say that faith always works when clearly the Bible says that these folks did not receive the things promised them? Good question, child of God. This is the problem of many Christians. They have not understood who really the Christian is. First and foremost, these old folks received the promises, but not while on earth. For Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the others are currently in the kingdom of God. They are those that God refers to when the writer of Hebrews says, But ye are come unto Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. They are those referred to as the spirits of just men made perfect. So you see, currently they are in the kingdom of God, they have obtained that promise. The greatness of Christianity is that you became a part of the kingdom of heaven whilst on earth. You lived after the coming of Christ and faith was completed and perfected in Christ. It's important Christians understand who they really are. The reason for their defeat in life is an ignorance of their identity. I said all that to say this. Faith always works. If it failed, it was never faith. Faith is not always instantaneous though, and will most times involve perseverance, but will always have to work. The problem is that many have not really understood faith. What most of them practice is not faith, but hope. There is a difference between faith and hope, even though they are connected. But hope will not get you healed. Hope will not give you the change you desire. Hope is where you start from, but faith is when you believe in that hope. The Bible talking about Abraham says, Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. So the Bible says that Abraham had to believe in hope to obtain that promise. You have to understand what the word believe really means. You can only believe what you don't see with your optical eyes. You can't see me in a room and say when you can see me with your naked eyes that I believe Brother Les is in the room. No. You can believe only what you don't see. This is why only the heart can believe and why faith is an evidence of only the unseen. There are many who will say, my faith didn't work because in the sovereignty of God, 
this may not be what he desires for me. Such people are very ignorant and don't understand what faith really is. You can't say you were in faith, but it didn't work because God in his sovereignty didn't want that for you. It's a contradiction. You can only have faith for what God in his sovereignty wants for you. This is the meaning of, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You see, many times the problem has been that many Christians in the understand will say, I'm exercising faith. But when they don't get it, then they say, maybe this was not the will of God for me. They have not understood what faith is. You cannot have faith when you don't know the will of God. You see, that's what the Bible tells you, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, a man's will is revealed through his word. For instance, you cannot know my will concerning something just by looking at my face. No, but when I speak concerning that situation, then or I give a response concerning that situation, then you will know that, oh, this is the will of Brother Alex. Now, for instance, there are parents who dies and then they leave a will on how their inheritance should be shared. That will was written based on their speech, right? Their speech. Through what they said, then the lawyer will know this is the will of the, the man concerning this company that should be given to daughter A or B. This is the will of the man concerning this property as it regards to the wife. So a man's will is revealed through his word. The same way God's will concerning any situation is revealed through his word. So when the Bible tells you that faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word, what word of God, what is trying to tell you that? Faith coming by hearing and hearing by knowing the will of God. If I get to know God's will concerning a situation pertaining to my life, then that's what gives me faith. Because I know that this is what God wants for me. So you, you cannot say that, oh, I had faith for something, but I didn't know the will of God. No, faith only starts when you know the will of God concerning something. And that's why Paul understood it. That's why he said that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It can also be put this way. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the will of God. See, may the Holy Ghost grant you an understanding. When you get an understanding of what really faith is, then you will understand that faith never fails. God bless you.